Hello lovely YouTube family. So good to have you come join me today. Thanks for coming and hanging out with me. Uh, it's Monday today and I'm going to do another deal it up challenge. So hopefully you're up for a little bit of a challenge. Uh, quick and easy. It's designed to not be too um, hard or, or dramatic. Just a bit of fun and a bit of prompt if you're needing just a little bit of inspiration. So my name is Belinda and this is Visualised NZ. So let's start off. I've got my three decks of card cards. So if you're new to my channel, um, I'd love to say hi to you. Say hi back. Um, I hope you really enjoy this and find it something that's useful. So I've got my three stacks of cards to pull our prompts from. So my first stack, I'm actually going to close my eyes and pick a card. So I'm just going to arrange them and then I'm going to close my eyes do it by feel just for something fun like different uh, so buttons we're going to be using buttons of some description so when it comes to buttons um, they can be real ones they can be ones that you've made and um, they could be stickers of buttons like just buttons of some description okay again I'm just gonna spread these out and then I'm gonna close my eyes and pick one at random And my fingers are lit on that one. So we're making a rectangle pocket with buttons. And our final prompt in today's Deal It Up Challenge is drum roll at the ready. Let's go. white on white oh that's really interesting i've been waiting for this one to come up uh, because i think it's going to be quite challenging but interesting okay so we're doing a pocket so i'm just grabbing out a base and i'm going to use uh, just a page that i've glued on and folded in half when it got too sticky as my base and I'm just going to give it a bit more glue in between so it doesn't come apart. This tends to not have a lot of glue around the edges. So I just come, come in and give it an extra bit of gluey love. And if it's been there for quite a while, sometimes the, the glue that was on it is not sticking so well. So there we go. It's not going to fall apart on me now. Okay, so that's going to be my base. And I need some white paper. Interesting, what have I got in my stash that's white? Let's have a wee looky, a wee look-see. I've got the, the um, envelopes, the outside of the envelope, which is white. Um, so when talking white on white, you're kind of looking for... Like this is a creamy white, possibly could work. Um, different textures, um, yeah, it is a challenging one. Like there's the back of scrapbooking paper that might work. Um, what else have I got? I haven't got a lot in the way of white in here. Um, crossword it's got black on it but it is white the base of it's white and we've got this which has got blue grid on it but it's also white um, so whether you introduce color or not is up to you um, how far you want to take the white on white um, doo -doo. I'm struggling to come up with anything else oh that's a bit of red grid it's got white base a little bit of the small gingham I guess um, <laughs> bit of a colouring book page printable it's kind of more creamy beige I think so maybe not that but hmm 
Okay, I'm not seeing much else, but I also, if I can pull it out of my bin here, wedged down in there, is my big bag of offcuts, just of white bits and pieces. Um, so I might grab out a couple of bits of that. And let's see what we can do. So I'm just going to start with the white on white and then we shall get to the buttons at some point. So maybe do just this has got our address on the other side, so I'm just going to tear a bit off off camera. Just so I don't mess up and um, accidentally leave that yeah right so this is the envelope so i really like this sort of raggedy edge i think that's quite nice so i think i might want to utilize a bit of that somewhere oops all fingers and thumbs today Right, so something like that, and I mean, your base doesn't have to be all white. You can do sort of partly white on the base and then something white on top. Okay, yep, I don't mind that. And do I want some of this starry puzzle bit? Yep, I think that might be quite fun. I don't want the red in it, though, so let's just cut a bit to size. And then just tear off this red stripe that I don't want. Whoops. Hopefully I haven't torn off too much. Right. I'm just going to glue, start gluing down. Ooh. It's a new glue stick, so it's, uh, the cap's a bit stiff to get on and off. You know, they loosen up a bit when you've used them for a while. But this is brand new. It's always nice to have lots of glue in your glue stick. When you sit down to do a project. Okay very wet here today so periodically I've been having uh, wet cat cuddles which is rather um, cold actually <laughs> it's a word I'd use to describe it is cold when they come in wet and want cuddles and they make you wet and then they go, go curl up somewhere and sleep and you're just damp and cold and that's happened uh, one two three for at least four times today already and it's mid-afternoon so yeah I've been periodically damp and cold oh dear I just took a huge big lump out of my glue stick not paying attention that's my problem okay So I hope everyone had a fantastic weekend and uh, did something fun or enjoyable or relaxing or all of the above. That's kind of like the perfect weekend, isn't it? Have all those three things all together. I went to a book sale on Saturday and I had a very, very limited budget, which was so sad. Um, but it did make me be really selective on what I chose and as it was, I went over my budget and I was getting ready to have to make some decisions. And my husband kindly paid the excess that I had gone over. I'd only gone over like $6, so it wasn't huge. And they had lots of free books, so we got more than what I paid for because we grabbed some free books as well. So some really cool bits and pieces, which I'm excited about. 
a um, couple of beautiful encyclopedias, just two volumes, um, two volume set, but they're really, really lovely. Uh, so once I've gutted them and, you know, I'll use the pages for things and the illustrations, I think I'll turn the covers into journals because they've got lovely gold embossing on them. Um, the outside is kind of like a, it's textured, but I'm trying to describe what sort of texture. Um, yeah, I'm not sure how to describe it in because I've, like I've put them away so I can't like feel it to remind myself of what sort of texture but they're just lovely um so I think I'll turn them into large journals of some description maybe art journals they might suit being art journals because they're quite you know sort of that sort of size but they'll be super lovely and yeah lots lots of little treasures but I did have to be very very selective and there were lots that I would have loved, but I put them back and had to like toss up between this this one or this one. I did that with a gardening book. It's like, which one's better? Um, or will I get more use out of? So yeah, it's not so much fun having to decide like that. But you know, that's, that's the real world. We have not got unlimited funds available. Well, I certainly don't. So yes, I spent $16 in total. And I'm not sure how many books I got actually. Um, must have been, they were $2 each. So I guess eight books that I paid for. And then probably, probably about 10 or so out of the free box. Plus some magazines on teddy bears. So I've got lots of teddy bear images to play with as well. Because there were about four or five teddy bear magazines which I thought would be super cute. I don't need to add this bit of white strip down the side here that I am, um, but I just felt like I wanted to, so I have. You know, there doesn't have to be a good reason for doing something. If you feel it, if you feel like making a creative decision, regardless of whether it's actually needed or not, then do it. And if you don't like what you're doing, just keep covering it up with bits and pieces. Keep going until you actually like what you have got and that's what I'm kind of doing here I'm just kind of um, continuing to add pieces even though it's all layered up already um, with the base I just I just feel like it today I guess it's a rainy day and I just feel like playing so, I hope you feel like playing along with me. Now that I've done that, I'm not sure that I want to do it. So, let's flag that. I'm going to have a sip of my tea. And think about what sort of focal image. I'm getting cat fur all over the place. Hazard of having cats. Um, I'm thinking a white butterfly because I know I've got a white butterfly. So distracted by cat, cat fur. Um, speaking of which, I've got a quote here which is talks about a cat, which I've printed off. What greater gift than the love of a cat? Charles Dickens quote. That might work. Let's keep that out. Um, or oh, this one is appropriate for today since it's all rainy. When life throws you a rainy day, play in the puddles. Okay, so let's put those up just in, just in case we go in that sort of direction. So, doo -doo. so illustration out of a mag, uh, not a magazine, an encyclopedia. It's quite creamy, but would it work with white on white? Oh, I really, really like that. I really like that. Okay, I don't know whether our quotes actually go with it. Is there another one there that might work? What else have we got here? All 
of the flowers of all of the tomorrows are in the seeds of today. Thanks. I'm not feeling that so much today. Um, have I got anything else? These are the white butterflies I was thinking of. But if we go with this illustration... Oh, we'll keep one out just in case. And I think that's about it out of here. This is just all random printables, bits and pieces, often freebies that I've picked up online um, or my own printables that I've done. So just random bits. Right. So I mustn't forget buttons, but I'm just going to cut out this butterfly. Oh, and there's sirens happening outside. We're only a block away from the main highway, so I, you know, sounds travel. Um, it's the main road that runs the length of the South Island, called State Highway 1. So all those noises travel quite easily to where I am in my wee house. I'm just going to quickly, I am leaving a white border around this butterfly as well, um, particularly in this instance because of the white on white theme. I'm thinking that a bit of extra white might be the done thing. I don't know. We'll go with that anyway. I don't think it will hurt. <sighs> Tangled up. Right now, the test is do we actually want to add that butterfly? I think it works. This is like a, um, or does it? I was thinking this was some sort of plant um, herbarium or something, but it's not. It's like a more like a cloister, like a, um, yeah, some sort of big arched room. But there's no plants in there. For some reason, I thought there were plants. Um, so now, I really like it though. I don't care that they don't necessarily go together. I'm going to use both because nobody says that I can't. It's, this is my my creation. And so whatever you make, it's your creation. You can do whatever you like. Right. And even though this is a little more on the creamy side than white, I'm going to go with it. And I'm not distressing. Um, I may distress around the edge. Um, I'm not sure. But I'm not going to distress around the elements. I think that looks nice. Who cares if the building and the butterfly don't actually go together? They go together in my world. Butterflies can be anywhere. Okay. So we've definitely got white on white and we have a pocket. So do I want to put a little thumb notch? Hmm. I maybe should have done that before I put the butterfly in because I think I'd have to chop off, chop into the butterfly wing do it shallow enough just clips the, the wing okay just to remind myself that this is actually a pocket so when I come to use it I know that it's supposed to be a pocket um, I think I do want to distress it it's going to 
highlight the white I think I could choose a different color but I think vintage photo is fine and will match my typical so it could be used anywhere so white on white doesn't mean that everything has to be white Here we go, happy with that. Now we just need buttons. And somewhere in my sticker stash, I know I have stickers that are buttons. And I'm thinking that's what I might like. Oops, so let's just have a wee flick through here. <laughs> These are stickers from our cat's uh, flea treatment. <laughs> hey, they're stickers. I might be able to use them somewhere. The thing is, when we do flea treat our kids, I always forget to put pop them in my journal as a reminder that that's the day that we did it. Um, one day I will catch up and do it, put them in my journal. I know I've got button stickers. Where are they? Big avalanche. And I've dropped a number on the floor as well. No, they're in a packet. No, not there. No, 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 no. Okay, maybe they're still in the bag. Oops, sorry guys. Oh, yes, they're still in the bag. You know, it's always the last place that you look. So I've got these, um, I don't know what they're called, bubble bucket button stickers. They came as a freebie with a craft magazine subscription I had, oh, decades ago. Like, probably 25 years ago. So they're quite old. Let's pop a few of these on. They're losing their stick a bit, so I need to put a bit of glue on, I think. Um, and they're not white. They don't need to be white. Let's go blue, because I'm feeling blue. As in, I feel like using blue. So I'm just going to put a bit of extra glue on here, just to make sure they don't come off over time. One there. And this is a different blue. That and then do we want a square one or another round one? Yeah, put a round one, a smaller, darker blue one. There we go, I like that. Simple as, and they don't add too much bulk, so they, they will still create a raised dimensional surface, but not so bulky that when you're writing on the page that's on the other side, that they're going to cause too much of an issue with writing. So there we go, there is my quick and simple response to the prompts for today's Deal It Up Challenge. So we have white on white, rectangle pocket, and buttons. 
So there we go. That's what I made. I'd love to see what you make from these prompts. Give it a go. Let me know how you get on. Thanks so much for joining me again today. I really love having your company. And I will talk to you again soon. Okay, take care everybody. Bye.